Welcome to Resolute Forest Products and the Fairmont Mill. Safety and environment are our top priority. The purpose of this video is to go over our company information, our policies and procedures, and discuss our expectations of our visitors so everyone makes it home safely. Resolute Forest Products is a de-ink uh, marketable pulp board production facility. The Fairmont Pulp Mill was established in 1995. Uh, we manufacture recycled bleach craft pulp, which is what you uh, might buy for at home. And uh, if you purchased a ream of paper for your printer at home and has a recycled logo, chances are it may have come from Fairmont itself. What makes Fairmont unique from other recycled bleach craft facilities is we dry our pulp, which enables it to be shipped overseas, uh, stored longer without molding, makes it a very unique process. Our vision at the mill here is to provide a safe working environment, a sustainable production facility for all the employees, and an atmosphere of where we all work together to achieve a common goal. Resolute Forest Products is a global leader in the forest products industry. We have pulp, paper, and wood facilities across the U.S., Canada, and South Korea. I work safe at the mill because I want to return to home just like I came to work. And my goal is, is to also make sure that all of my team members do the same. Safety of our environment um, helps give us the right to work. If we can't manage our own safety and our own environment, then we can lose the opportunity to manage our own business. I'm committed to the safety environment of a facility for two main reasons. It doesn't make sense to try and operate a facility and not be an environmental steward of your community. And it's important for me to return home to my family safe every night. I work safe for a couple different reasons, but the biggest one is my family. Um, obviously, everybody wants to go home the same way they came in. Um, I have that same goal. I also want everybody that I work with on a daily basis to go home safe as well. At Resolute, our values are to work safely, be accountable, ensure sustainability, and succeed together. Our environmental policy outlines the Fairmont Mill's extensive commitments to sustainable development. We involve all employees in our policy's commitments through training and engagement. Regarding environmental requirements, we are re committed to both meeting and striving to exceed all applicable legal, regulatory, and company obligations. We evaluate and mitigate any environmental risks associated with our processes on a continual basis. Additionally, we consider future impacts of contemplated changes to our processes. It is our culture to continuously improve the mill's environmental footprint. We make sure to manage the natural resources in our care through manufacturing efficiencies, pollution prevention, waste reduction, recycling practices, and sustainable forest management. While on site, take the time to identify and use recycling containers for plastic, aluminum, metal, batteries, and paper. Place all other waste in appropriate receptacles and refrain from any littering activity to help us keep this facility clean and environmentally sound. At Resolute, we understand that environmental stewardship is both an ethical obligation and a business imperative. The Fairmont Mill is proud to share these environmental commitments with you, and we thank you in advance for your adherence to the environmental policy. Personal protective equipment, PPE, is required at the mill at all times. Uh, by visitors, by even the employees on, on, that work here every day. That is hard hat, safety glasses, steel toed boots, vet, safety vests, and hearing protection is required by everybody that comes on site. First and foremost, every visitor must check in at the admin building. Uh, during check-in, they basically sign in, grab the appropriate PPE that they need, then they watch this video to make sure that they're aware of the hazards associated with the mill. After the visitor has completed their time at the mill, they stop down at the guard shack, 
turn in their parking pass, sign out, return their PPE before leaving so that we have a very good record of who is here and who is not here at the mill. The traffic pattern for visitors into the mill um, is to stay to the right and proceed to the visitor parking area no faster than 50 miles per hour. Um, the appropriate method of parking here at the facility is that everyone must back into the parking spaces and the reason for this is to ensure um, safety when exiting forward first. The types of hazards that visitors need to be cautious about are wet areas, it is a pulp mill, uh, we have paper here so paper could be a slip hazard. And there's also hoses and other debris that could be possibly in the walkway that could get in your way. Um, we also require three points of contact on every stairway system. That means that we want your hands on the handrails at all time and of course you're going to be taking steps up the, up the stairs. We also have a lot of signs posted around the facility to alert visitors to other hazards. These signs include four truck signs, meaning that mobile equipment may be operating in the area. We have incident reporting signs, slip hazard signs, speed limit signs, and more. All these signs are posted for your safety, so make sure you pay attention. Be aware of your surroundings and follow all sign instructions. And that activity will all help you to be safe when you're walking around the mill. A pinch point in the mill is a place where a piece of machinery can make contact with a human extremity, okay? So we have a lot of areas where machine equipment is moving. We're going to take you through, uh, you're going to walk through the mill where machinery is active and we want to make sure that no hands, feet, body parts are even close to these areas that you could come in contact. Pinch points are all around the mill. Our walkways prevent you from getting into these pinch points, but you still have to watch about keeping your hands away from these pinch point areas. Be safe. While here at the Fairmont facility, you need to watch out for line of fire. And when I say line of fire, there's a lot of moving equipment. Automated equipment that moves off of computer commands, rolling stock like forklifts and tractor trailers. So it's important to stay out of the line of fire. While here at the Fairmont Mill, uh, hazards that may be heat related are due to steam. One of our largest users of steam, about 80% of our steam load is our ABB flat dryer. All steam lines are labeled, however, it still need to be cautious while in the areas. And then also, just as we're going through the mill, um, up and down steps and to warm areas, making sure that uh, we're not getting overheated or heat stressed. The hazards associated with cold weather here at the mill are mainly ice in the parking lot um, and visitors need to be aware of ice hanging from the building or from the tanks also. Chemical hot zones are located throughout the mill both on the process side and over towards the finish side. The uh, chemical hot zones will be identified with a chemical curtain around it as well as markings with their signage for what that chemical area is. The only personnel that are allowed in that area are trained personnel and ones that are wearing the appropriate PPE for what that hazard is. Well, we look at incidents probably two ways if you want to look at it basically. One is as if an actual incident happened and somebody was harmed. We definitely want that reported to the supervisor. The second uh, incident is, is a near miss incident. It didn't actually happen. You may have slipped or something, but didn't get harmed. We still want to know about those incidences so we can eliminate them. Uh, you can report those incidences to the control room. Control room number internally in the mill is 6180. If you can't, if you don't have that available to you, then we have also have people around site that all have radios. Ask those guys on the radios to call the control room you'd like to report an incident, or you can report the incident to the leader that's on the shift that day. Here at Fairmont, we use a lot of chemicals and we use a lot of water in our process. Any of those at any point in time you know, could 
uh, leak. And uh, if you were to come across that, the first thing is make sure that you identify the spill so that you, you know, keep yourself safe. Um, secondly is to contain that, to keep it from going any drains or on the ground, and then notify the control room as soon as possible so that other people can make their way to you and, and start helping clean up. Spill cleanup starts with utilizing spill kits, which are located throughout the facility. Spill kits are housed in circular yellow containers and are all labeled. They contain oil dry, containment booms, and spill containment pads. Visitors are encouraged to identify spill kits in the areas they are visiting and use them only if directed to do so by a Resolute employee. Remember, we request that visitors immediately report any identified spills, near misses, or injuries to the control room. Here at the Fairmont facility, emergency response plan is very important to our employees and our surrounding neighborhoods. Uh, there's a code 500 that can be called out on the radio at any time there's an emergency and that means you're to report to a mustering zone. If you're a visitor, it is very important that you find your tour guide and report to the mustering zone with your tour guide immediately. During an emergency situation, if you hear code 500 over the radio, it means radio silence. The radio silence allows us in the control room to communicate any instructions or further information to everybody in the mill without having uh, radio traffic. At Resolute, we are one team where profitability and sustainability drive our future. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, please see a Resolute employee. Have a safe day and thanks for visiting the Fairmont Mill.